Hi, my name is Susan Andrews and I'm a teacher of philosophy at Temple Carrick School in Great Dunn. I teach students from the ages of 12 to 16 in the philosophy short course. Um, and today I just want to give you a little overview or introduction to why philosophy matters in today's schools, in my opinion. Um, especially during the uh, pandemic, we have uh, started to reevaluate what our education system um, is actually for. Um, how does an education system like ours un deal under pressure? Uh, what urgent changes following this pandemic do we need to address in our schools? And if I was to ask any of my colleagues or um, friends who are employers or work in colleges, what sort of people do you want students to be when they leave school? They normally um, answer with words like compassionate, tolerant, open-minded, innovative, resilient. But these are all attributes, fantastic attributes. But how do you actually teach them in our schools? How do you practice that in our curriculum? Um, so why do I think philosophy matters today in our curriculum, in a modern curriculum? I think we're at a crossroads now and the pandemic has really shown the cracks in our um, education system and how fragile and unfair it is um, and there's a lack of consensus on what it means to have an education in Ireland. Is it merely a filter for third level? So philosophy starts with the students questions. Um, these questions are the types of questions that don't have settled answers that you can't just Google them and find a, a quick answer. And the class, in the, the way it is set up, requires an openness, um, a coaching style that making mistakes is fine attitude. You learn that disagreement can be negotiated, that your first thoughts are not always your best thoughts, how to listen to others. And it also alerts uh, young people to the pitfalls of ideas. And they listen to, they learn to listen out for dogma, spin, unclarity, complacency in your thinking. Um, and they practice looking for alternatives and thinking oppositely as they may have normally. Um, basically, students think in questions. This enables them to uh, organise their thinking around what we don't know about the world. And questions are really the new answers. They're becoming more valuable even in the marketplace, if you want to take that tack. And if you trace back the origins to any new innovations, especially the vaccines and the breakthroughs uh, in technology, at the root of it all is a great question. Someone asking why we are doing this and what if we tried to do this instead. So questions are really a survival skill for us. And this becomes more true in an era of change like uh, we are living through right now. If you look at research, a four-year-old asks more than about 300 questions a day. What happens to all those questions? Well, by secondary school, it's almost at zero. And a key answer uh, to this, or a key issue to this, is we value the answers far too much in schools rather than looking at the questions. Why should we care about the survival of humanity? Who's responsible for the welfare of future generations? Does everyone have a right to housing? Um, what is education for? Why do good people suffer? What happens to these unattended questions of a 12 year old by the time they're 15? Um, all these questions are generated by the students. And unless we take time to address these difficult questions about the world in our curriculum at school, the message we send is that these questions don't matter enough to give time to. We have to get through the content or the curriculum. So um, one of the NCCA's key learning skills, and you often hear uh, universities and future employers talk about this, is the need for critical thinking. Um, we're assured that practicing these skills will help students become better voters, consumers and future leaders. But critical thinking on its own does not address the rising moral concerns uh, that young people have about global issues and the future of society. Who decides what we get in our society and who deserves what? 
in considering these questions, you're using critical thinking, but the issues themselves are philosophical. And in my experience teaching philosophy, teenagers are as troubled by these questions as the great philosophers were. Um, you can see some of my students in action in Rob, Dr. Rob Grant's excellent uh, short film that he did for RTE called Future Visions 2. Um, it's on the RTE player right now. Um, or you can watch this clip, this short four or five minute clip, which gives you an overview and context of what, why we think philosophy is important for schools right now. Thank you.